One Punch Man Chapter 175. Alright, so I am skipping 174, but to be honest, nothing really happened in that chapter. Like, we see BDSM Toad's face in, uh, whatever that is, but all that really matters is Parappa the Rappa Man says, let's take this outside, Baldy. And you already know, Saitama, about that action, which leads right back into Chapter 175, where Sperm Man and Saitama's adopted dog are vibing on the doormat. And this is where the bald bandit creates his master scheme showing his genius moves as always whoever loses this fight has to take care of the monkey in the mud also butterfly boy notices something off about the monkey saitama has and i was shocked because like usually one punch man characters have three brain cells that are in a constant tournament arc to be as stupid as humanly possible but as soon as sperm man started making monkey noises they all went ape brain again how dumb do you gotta be bro that is a possessed emo teletubby how in the hell could you think that is a monkey anyway parappa the rappa and the bald bandit start scrapping and this dude's power is literally just getting sturdy and saitama warns them hey bro listening to music in the streets ain't safe take them damn muffins off your goddamn goofy head boy and sure enough bro gets absolutely molly by a mercedes-benz s-class and i gotta wonder what is that car made out of that boy just got looney tunes tasmanian devil launched 40 feet in the air and that car don't got a scratch on it bro got the armored karuma from gta 5 all right so it turns out the glizzy gang were the ones in the car and the glizzard wizard herself shows up and helps saitama escape the attempted murder charge by taking him to the hero association detainment center and at this detainment center we see psycho titties the leader of the monster association in prison and look i know i just called her psycho titties but some of these panels are wild one was in the studio down horrendous for this chapter like look at this panel bruh come on now so apparently some hunter hunter villain is there to torture her and open her brain for secrets but he also mentions the next villain the moon god which to be honest i'm not even surprised we bought a fight because saitama sneezed a planet out of existence literally we also see this flashback of psycho titties and the blizzard wizard and apparently they went to the same high school and i'm not gonna lie bro blizzard is the biggest hater of all time because like how are you gonna steal somebody power away because you don't want them to be stronger than you like that's some super villain shit like what is wrong with you i'm low-key starting to feel bad for psycho she was basically just bullied by the blizzard wizard into insanity but that leaves off for this chapter next chapter we gonna see two baddies fight i guess Anyway, like, sub, appreciate y'all. Deuces.